The compound was not meant to be permanent. There are concerns the Kunari influence is no longer contained. Was it ever? Kirkwall has tension enough between Templar and Mage, but these Kunari, they sit like gargoyles waiting for Maker knows what and everyone goes mad around them. Nearly four years I've stood between fanatics. And now, this. Don't keep us in suspense. Leave us. Meredith at my throat, Orsino at my heels, and a city scared of heretical giants. Balance has held because the Conari ask for nothing. Even the space in Lowtown was a gift to contain them. But now, the Arishok has requested you. By name. What did you do? I got his attention a couple of times. I guess I impressed him, but that was years ago. It makes no sense. And it doesn't matter. I just need them quiet. I remember how you helped my son. It seems you are meant to have influence above your station. Speak to the Arishok. Give him what he needs to keep the peace. Can you do that for Kirkwall, Sarah Hall? Sounds like you'd be better off without this headache. They will not leave, and we don't have the resources to force the issue. At least, not in a way that would leave the city intact. If they had come to conquer, I suspect they would have done so. I've seen hate for them, but I haven't heard anything major in years. Zealots are bravest where their lies can't be argued behind closed doors. Chantry leaders see Konari beliefs as a challenge, not an attack. But the message gets muddled among casual adherents. I'm certainly not equipped to argue the fine points of faith. Have the years been kind to Seamus? He is his own man. But your actions tempered him somewhat. He's not so angry at the world. I thank you for that. I may not agree with him on many things, but uh, I am proud of what he is becoming. The Kunari usually arrive as conquerors. Odd that this has gone on so long. Very, and I have no interest in antagonizing them. That is partially why I suffer being a messenger today. A treaty exists, and it has been honored. Although... Uh... You have doubts? They claim they're waiting for a second ship. But it has been three years. They want something else. Any idea what I can expect? None. Honestly, I don't think I've heard two direct words from the Arishok. Other than his rather deliberate phrasing of... Begone. If you think he's asking me to notify you of this is strange... Well, you would be right. I'm always willing to assist. Well, that is an attitude this city has lacked for a long time. Appease the Arishok. Take his demand and let him return to dormancy. As awkward as this has been, it is better than the alternative. Stepping down is looking more and more appealing. Is there a faction in this city that likes their neighbors? You wouldn't know it from my list of complaints. You are looking well, sir. Good day, sir. We'll need to give them answers by tomorrow, Captain. I'll have them. Dismissed. The Seneschal was particularly vocal. Dismissed.
You'd think the Captain of the Guard could requisition a Templar or two, but no, that would be demeaning. Can't have them working for the people when Eternity needs a nanny. You had to know cleaning up this mess would be difficult. It's not the challenge, it's the unending part. And really, I blame you. You poured money into a pot that was already full. Everything has shifted. Good job validating the fears of every anti Ferelden and Kirkwall. I didn't realize I was making it worse by getting ahead. I'm just harassing you. Although you are a bit like the center of a hurricane. You've changed fortunes for many people. Not always for the better. Sounds like you're spreading yourself pretty thin. There are a lot of people in my charge. Someone has to look out for them. You guard the guardsmen. I don't turn people loose like Jevon. There's additional training, doubled patrols. Costs are up, but I've halved injuries. I'll take it and argue with Seneschal Bran later. After the last captain, you couldn't have expected this to be easy. At least I had the guards on my side. Once they understood, they rallied. And those who didn't weren't fit to hold the crest. Stack friends against the enemies. I don't know if I came out ahead, but it's for the better. Grouse all you want, but the Aveline I know doesn't regret a second as captain. They'd have to drag me out of here, and I'm sure some are lining up to try. You among them, I bet. Haven't had much time to follow you around. Not that I need to. I can trust that you at least try to do right. But I'm with you if you need me, Hawk. Just say the word. I've been looking everywhere for you, Messiah. If only you humans didn't all look the same. I was called to the keep on important business, Bowden. Yes. I was hoping to catch you before you arrived. I came to deliver this to you, the last of the proceeds from all that treasure you found in the Deep Roads. It seems your friend Varric found a buyer after all, yes? Quite well done. I can put this to good use. Of course. Always happy to help. Uh, before I go, may I simply say how grateful I am that you've allowed my boy to stay in your home. I said I would repay you for saving Sandal's life, and I shall serve you faithfully. It is good to know he is safe. I didn't ask you to be my manservant, Bowden. But I owe you a debt, and after what happened in the Deep Roads, I have no other way to repay you. I'll leave you to your adventures. Your mother asks that you return to the mansion when you have a chance. You can't miss the keep. It practically screams nothing fun ever happens here. So, I never expected to be palling around with the Captain of the Guard. We're not pals. We're not? What about that time we painted each other's toenails? Do you want something? Love, life, and liberty. What more does a man need? You're in a jolly mood. Well, when you're here, 
I know you're not leading men into Darktown to arrest me. You're the captain of the guard. You have my thanks for keeping us safe, dear girl. You're quite welcome. Nice to see this place fixed up again. It keeps property values in the neighborhood high. You've settled in nicely. It's been hard work to get here. Indeed. Still, more coin never hurts, right? Say, if someone wanted to pass some work your way... I'm listening, Evelyn. What's the trouble? A thorn in my side inventing trouble and scaring people. Remember Emmerich, the Templar? He wants your help. ...and some sort of official sanction. Official sanction? For his... ...investigation. He's convinced that every random murder in the past few years is connected... ...and he won't be quiet. You don't think it's worth investigating? I have. He even convinced one of my lieutenants to raid the Dupuis mansion. Nothing there. You wouldn't believe how much ass I had to kiss after that... ...bloody hobbyist constable. Why can't he spend his declining years building a boat or something? Seems like it should be easy to prove if there are bodies. Kirkwall isn't the safest place. That doesn't mean everything terrible is related. There's no sense to that. Can't be. I seem to recall he had some good leads. Then you won't mind chasing his threads. If it leads somewhere, I'll pick it up. Right now, he's just distracting my men. He's in the gallows. Do what you can. Thanks, Hawk. I'll try not to make a habit of this. It's strange living here again. My childhood home. Now owned by my child. It's not something I could have imagined when I was a little girl staring out this window. I'm still grateful you used your money from the expedition to buy back the estate. I feel like an Amel again. I'm going to make the name Hawk one to be proud of in this city. I don't doubt it. Your father would have said that with that exact look, too. I just wish we could all be together as a family one more time. I visited Carver with the Templars, and he's so proud of his new knighthood. I guess I just need to start picking you out a suitable husband. I like the doggy. <laughs> chat. <laughs> Maybe Sandal picked up some Mabari speak from our time at the hero of Ferelden's camp.
Is that... Isabella... Who carves that into a stairwell? If you need any enchantments, I'm sure my boy would be happy to help. En oh, enchantment. Fenris said Daenerys left this at the mansion. I'm proud of you. Love, Mother. Fenris hates that statue. Says it reminds him of the old god relics they had in Tevinter. <laughs> Another copy of Anders' manifesto. Has he been stuffing them into all the books? Reminds me of a mind shot. You've had luck on your travels. A letter arrived for you. It's on the desk. That's where I'll put messages which come while you're out. That's Mother's room. I shouldn't intrude. Handprints? Was someone swinging on the chandelier? sideways, then cover the... <sighs> Sweet maker, Isabella. I can't unsee that. I wonder where Varric is today. Telling stories about my exploits to anyone who will listen, most likely. Poor Prince. <sighs> I told him to stay off the bed. Lots of old things from Lothering in there. Crude drawings in the margins. <sighs> Isabella, grow up. Uh, I think I'll let Sandal empty that. wondering if I shouldn't remarry. I'm sure the last thing you need is your mother watching over your shoulder every time you come home. But perhaps there is still life once your children have outgrown you. You've been through a lot. You deserve any joy you can find. Thank you, love. No one could ever replace your father. But it is refreshing to think I could still be courted at this age. Seneschal Bran has a son about your age. Maybe two marks add character to the piece. So the Seneschal's tax collector won't be coming around again like you asked. Funny story. I'll pass, but thank you for the help. Spoil sport. Why you want to squat up here in Hightown is beyond me. I like the view. So do I. Three years. There's still no sign of Daenerys. I'm beginning to wonder if he's finally given up. 
This is his mansion, isn't it? He must know you're here. Would you be surprised to learn that it isn't, in fact, his mansion? It belongs to a Tevinter merchant, one who has evidently given up on the place. Perhaps he is dead. Perhaps Daenerys killed him. Either way, if Daenerys is aware of my presence, he has done nothing. Isn't this what you wanted? Yes, but... Tell me, what do you do when you stop running? Do you really not know? My first memory is receiving these markings. The lyrium being branded into my flesh. The agony wiped away everything. Whatever life I had before I became a slave, it's lost. I shouldn't trouble you with this. My problems are not yours. You don't know who you were? Fenris was the name Daenerys bestowed upon me. His little wolf. If I once had another name or a family, then they were taken from me. But again, this is not your concern. Your problems are my problems. Unlucky you. But enough. You have much to keep you busy, I'm certain. Maybe I should find a nicer place. Don't come running to me next time you pick up one of these diseases. Isn't that the point of magic? I don't want to know. Things just keep getting worse. I had Templars practically on my doorstep the other night. The Templars are hunting you. Not me specifically. They were just checking the refugee camps. But it's not like this place is a secret. It's only a matter of time. <laughs> Don't tell me these things. I might have to lock you up to keep them off you. Sweetheart, I'm not letting anyone lock me up. You included. The Night Commander is out of control. Even her own people have been talking about it. The curfews, the midnight raids on mages' families. Everyone I know forced into hiding so they won't be made tranquil. If they want you, they'll have to come through me. You're at as much risk as I am. That's what I worry. What if your money and position aren't enough? What if the Knight Commander turns on you? Everything I've done to control this, I don't care. I would drown us in blood to keep you safe. I don't want to see you lose yourself. To the Templars or Justice. How much is left if you strip both those out? I'm sorry. I can't be anyone but who I am. There will be more violence. I know that. If you tie yourself to me, I'll only hurt you. Nothing would hurt as much as losing you. You don't want to do this. I have no control around you. I never thought I'd meet another mage like you. Another apostate. Don't tempt me. Not unless you're ready for what that means.
Have you heard from your brother? Is he happy? With the Templars, I mean. Why trouble yourself over him? I know how hard it is to give up everything and live among strangers. I worry about him. And not just for his sake. Our mother visits him constantly. She says he's doing well. I'm glad. Maybe it's not what you would have wanted, but it's good he's found his path. I know he was angry when he left, but this wasn't your fault. One day he'll understand you were trying to protect him. Maybe with time he'll forgive me. He loves you. He just doesn't show it very well. Things will be all right, somehow. By the Dread Wolf! Why is my house always such a mess when people are here? Isabella, you look well. Are you talking about the flush on my cheeks? It must be the whiskey. Do you remember the relic I told you about? The one I need to find? I've been following a lead. I'm so close I can taste it. Isn't that what you said last time? Oh, you mean when I went digging for that stash? Yes. ...that turned out to contain several badly written poems and an old boot. It could have contained the relic. I just thought I'd let you know that I may soon be taking you up on that offer of help. You can count on me. Thanks. I appreciate it. If I learn anything new, you'll be the first to hear about it. Anyone knows Sir uh, Karen? Has he uh, done anything wrong? Anyone knows Sir uh, Karen? Has... Just tell me if you hear more rumblings from the coterie about protection. Blondie's got enough trouble. Let me ask you something, Hawk. You made it into Hightown. I'd expect anyone else to get complacent, but you... you must have plans. No plans yet. I'm simply trying to look out for my mother. I suppose after the whole business with Carver, it's a good idea to hang on to what you've got. To be honest, I thought there might be a chance you'd want to go back to Ferelden now that things have calmed down. It's good to hear you're sticking around. Kirkwall needs me. If nothing else... You give this town respectability, my friend. So, we've got a whole city-state full of trouble to get into. Shall we get started? Blondie, I don't mean to sound critical, but have you considered a new line of work? Such as? Pretty much anything. I don't think Renegade Mage has a bright future, or any retirement plan. The free marches. I feel sorry for the mages sometimes, you know. What a terrible thing to be you. Don't mind the drunks. They're friendlier than they look. And they don't bite. Much. What's the word on the street? Watch out for pirates and raiders if you plan to travel by sea. The coast around the Free Marches is swarming with... Any other news? You hear about the Earl of Redcliffe. Some say Andraste herself reached down and cured him so he could unite the land. Thanks. I should go. Anytime. Hmm. Perhaps 
if we put some flowers there? You, Varric, have a very large mouth. And here I've always looked up to you. What is it now? There were fist fights in the barracks over who was the model for your guard cereal. Hard in high town. Riveting stuff. Everyone loves a dirty guard on the edge. Varric. Fine. I'll start his big finish. Three chapters until Donan Brenakovic retires and opens a tavern on the coast. I sure hope he makes it. He's getting too old for this shit. I'm sorry. I thought it would end here. That young lady, Hawk. She decimated Flint Company. No survivors. Yet, now that I know who sent them, it's harder to see their deaths as justice. Death is never justice. My... Hawk? We were just talking about you. Saying good things, I hope. Hawk asked diplomatically. You know, I hate it when you do that. Hawk muttered in an angry aside to the dwarf. If, uh, you two have a moment, I've learned who hired Flint Company. The Harrimans, a noble family of Kirkwall. They were my parents' allies. It's hard to believe they betrayed us like this. Tell me about this family. Lord Harriman used to be a good man, but he became rather strange in his dotage. He died some years back. His daughter took over the family. Lady Johane Harriman. They say she's become quite reclusive of late. Any idea why they turned on you? Money? Power? It's hard to say. Lady Harriman was always jealous of my family for being royalty when hers were mere nobility. But I can't imagine that pushing her into outright murder. Is there any peaceful way to resolve this? If you treat the Harrimans like those mercenaries, you could start a war. Go carefully, Sebastian. I must speak with Lady Harriman and find out what drove her to this madness. But I am the last of my line. I should not go alone and make myself a target. If I'm standing beside you, that should make her think twice. Again, your interest in my plight humbles me. If you like, I can travel with you until you confront Lady Harriman. Otherwise, you can always find me here in the Chantry. I cannot fault Sebastian for wanting to know why an old ally would turn against his parents. But I fear he's too impetuous. He may do something he regrets. Please, go with him. Try to restrain him. If the Harrimans are guilty, they will receive justice from the Viscount. Sebastian need not take their punishment into his own hands. What is the Chantry's stance on the Kunari presence here? Would it help anything for us to get involved? Or is it more likely to like the Kindling? If the Kunari act against us, the Templars will defend Kirkwall. Otherwise, we guard ourselves best by waiting. How long have you been Grand Cleric? I became a lay sister here when I was only a girl. My parents died of fever, and I was taken in by the Chantry. Eventually, I took my vows. After I had served for some time, the revered mothers agreed that I should travel to Orlay. The Divine herself appointed me Grand Cleric of Kirkwall. That was near 30 years ago. You knew my grandparents? I dedicated your mother into the Chantry. She was a beautiful baby. Your grandmother was a very proper lady, but she was beside herself that day. And your mother put a fist in my eye. Are you intending to stay neutral about the Canarian Mages forever? The Maker's time is not men's time. We do not need to rush. The Chantry is not a domineering father with the whip always in hand. 
Chi is a gentle mother who knows her children learn best when allowed to learn themselves. Your hound is a mark of nobility in Ferelden, is he not? I have heard that gaining a Mabari's loyalty is considered the ultimate proof of character there. That's kind of you to say. I think we make a good pair. A dog cares nothing for worldly power. The Maker would like to see us learn from them. Don't let it go to your head. Ah, you've returned. Everything's quiet here in the mansion for the moment. Is that supposed to be Andraste's face on your crotch? What? That belt buckle thing. Is that Andraste? My father had this armor commissioned when I took my vows as a brother. I'm just not sure I'd want the Maker seeing me shove his bride's head between my legs every morning. Though the lands suffer a thousand wrongs, the Maker yet notices the smallest of deeds. strange. The door's wide open, and not a single guard posted. This is not the Lady Harriman I remember. There is something very wrong in here. of a bitch what's taking so long flora why does no one in this house care what i want more wine or i swear i will drown you in the dregs she doesn't even see us this is no normal More logs. It must be molten. You, more coins. I want every scrap of gold in this house. Please, Mazer! There's nothing to fear. You'll be beautiful. Pour it over her. Don't! You'll kill her! He can't hear me.
Perhaps I should be the one. We must end this madness. visited this house often as a child. They could not have concealed such goings. your pardon, Hawk. I did not mean to expose you to such things. No. The feather. Use the feather. Where have you been all my life? Today, I am more than a man. Come, felicitate me. He has no idea we're here. I've known Ruxton Harriman my whole life. He's a complete prude. Where's your brother? Let's ask him to join us. Now, be the naughty apprentice, and I'll be the Templar torturer. I don't think I can do be this. Be the naughty apprentice, and I'll be the Templar Perhaps torturer. Perhaps someone else can help. prayed for Andraste to guide us to peace with the Harriman's. Turn back. There is nothing here for you. We just want to know what's happening. You shall not enter.
demons, temptresses. We must see what greater evil they were protecting. A ruin? So close to High Town? I remember no such thing.
I'll pass. Perhaps someone else can help.
Starkhaven will not submit. I put that idiot Goran Vale into the Prince's Sea, but the other families won't heed him. I must marry him to Flora and solidify our hold. But I need more power. I've given you much. Your desires run deep. You've already traded your husband and your children. What more can you offer? At the Blooming Rose, 50 silver's standard for a whore. You'll hardly find my services standard. Who is this? Who are you? How did you get here? Sebastian! You were my mother's friend. How could you murder her? Such an ugly word. I prefer... ...remove the only obstacle between her and her dreams. This was your idea. I could create such desires if I wished. But it's far easier to nurture those that already exist. The desire for power is easy to find. You and your friend both possess it, do you not? You both wish to rise. Not if it meant selling out my family. How loyal were your friends to you? Everyone has a price. Everyone wants something. Do not listen to her. Oh, such a pious soul. Masking so much ambition. Are you so different from my lady? You yearn for the same lands. The same power. I am the rightful heir. She is a usurper and murderer. You swore to put aside worldly goods and ambitions, but they couldn't stop you from wanting them. I will hear no more from you.
Return to the Chantry. I must pray for Lady Harriman's soul. Let us return to the Chantry. I must pray for Lady Harriman's soul. Sebastian! I am so, so... Sorry is such an inadequate word. When I think what Mother made us do... What those creatures made us do... We were friends, Flora. It was like a cloud came down on me. All I could feel or think was what the demon allowed. Did your mother order the attack on Sebastian's family? She did. You... You know mother, Sebastian. She was always jealous of your parents. The demon twisted that until it was all she could think of. She was determined to seize Starkhaven for herself. Was your mother a mage? How did she find this demon? We've never had magic in our line. Perhaps that made mother too confident. She thought she could deal with the demon and not fall prey to it. Right. It is demons who should be feared, not mages. Those ruins there were unearthed when we expanded the house. Mother found the demon inside. I think she had signed her bargain before we even knew. Don't blame your mother. The Desire Demon made this happen. I doubt many people will be so forgiving. If it takes every last coin my family owns, I will make reparations to everyone we've wronged. Starting with you, Sebastian. We weren't the only ones vying for Starkhaven. If you face more opposition, you have my support. It will not make up for what happened. No. That's true. I'll tell you when I need you. You're glaring, Anders. Is there a reason, or is it one of your moods? Your term as captain hasn't been particularly mage-friendly. I've only turned a handful over to the Templars. Every despot starts somewhere. And yet I allow an abomination to whine at me. Credit where it's due.
So you're two people, Anders and Justice. That's not strictly accurate. But you are of two minds. Many people are. Now you're the one not being accurate. I thought those were the rules of this game. I never know who I'm talking to with you. Then it's fortunate it doesn't occur often. I had hoped prayer might cleanse me of the desire demon's touch. But I still hear her voice so clearly. I feel like I've bathed in filth that will never come off. You acted honorably. Why are you ashamed? The demon didn't lie. I used to be bitterly jealous of my brother. I wanted to be prince. Now everything he had is mine. And he lies in ashes. I keep asking myself, do I want this because it's right? Or simply to have what I never thought I could? Aren't you your parents' heir? I'm the youngest son of three. My parents were rather traditional. They wanted the heir and the spare, and I was left in the cold. They put me in the Chantry to prevent my competing with my brothers. You seem very dedicated to the Chantry. You were put there against your will? At first. But it was the best thing that could have happened. I was a wild boy, a shame to my family. The Chantry made me a man. It's odd. When I wanted to rule, I would have been terrible at it. Now that I might be decent, I don't know if it's the right thing to do. It's the wisdom not to want power that lets you use it wisely. You didn't feel what that demon stirred in me. It cannot be right to lead any army to Starkhaven with such doubt in my heart. I owe you more than I can say, Hawk. I will offer my service to you here before I move on. If you want to help me, do it because we're friends. There's no debt between us. You have a good soul, Hawk. It was truly the Maker who led you to me. I think this is yours. My grandfather's bow, but where did you get it? One of the Flint Company mercenaries had it. Thank you. It's hard to mourn the loss of a thing while my family lies dead. But I did think of it. What's the story behind that bow? As the youngest son, it was my place to lead Starkhaven's militia. But I never had a talent for swordplay. Too much getting hit. My grandfather said the bow is the wise man's weapon. You can defend your city without opening its gates. Grandfather said the day I could pull the string on his bow, it would be mine. Then why didn't you have it with you? I was 13 when my grandfather made me that promise. I would rise at dawn to practice my shots until I could hit the isolate of a helmet from the top of the ramparts. But my parents pledged me to the Chantry before I could show him. Were you and your grandfather close? He was a man of the world, Prince of Starkhaven. But he had the most unshakable faith in the Maker. When my parents threatened to pledge me to the Chantry, he told me he'd gladly trade his title for a life of contemplation. The Maker ordained a place for each of us, I remember him saying. We have only to serve. I'm sorry I never got a chance to meet them. To save them. I know. You're a true friend, Hawk. You brought me this to remember and honor them. But if I could bring back our lowest servant by snapping it in half, I'd do it without regrets. I'm desperately trying to stay away. But the giggling... 